there. I'm Daniel, the Low Budget Outdoorsman, with a little bit of a uh, tips video for you today. About a month and a half ago, I finally got some electronics for the John boat. I got a uh, Hummingbird Helix 9 side imaging, down imaging, uh, and sonar combo unit. And so I wanted to show you how I have it mounted, uh, but most importantly, how I have the transducer, because that proved to be a little bit problematic. Um, I tried on the trolling motor, but this boat gets blown around so much, so I'm obviously making a lot of uh, corrections with the trolling motor, and it just it just didn't work out very well. I tried to mount it on the back, but as you'll see, I'll show you back here, on a small John boat like this, there's not a lot of room. And as you know, having a good transducer mount is important to the readings on the unit. You want your transducer to, to be at the right uh, pitch, both horizontally and uh, vertically. So I'm going to go to the back and show you what I'm talking about. Well, as you can see, there's not a lot of room on the back here. I've only got a 30 inch width on the bottom. I have my homemade shallow water anchor here mounted. And so, and then also there's very little clearance between the motor and the boat here. So I have very few options. Basically, I, I can't really mount it right here on the back of the boat. Because if I mount it down here, it's gonna have interference on at least this left side of the side imaging. The other issue is one of the most enjoyable aspects of having a small boat like this is being able to get up into creeks. In fact, there are times when I'll actually get out and walk through the water in a creek and just pull the boat uh, behind me when it's too shallow for me to actually uh, navigate through a, a section. And a lot of times that means including dragging the boat over gravel bars or sandbars in the creek or in the far back of a bay to get to the mouth of a creek. If I had the transducer mounted here um, where it was exposed to the, the ground, I would inevitably damage it on some rocks. If I had it mounted up above to protect it, then I lose my side imaging ability because the beam will be blocked. And so I needed to come up with a simple solution that I could mount the transducer where it would be back here to give me left and right um, visibility, but also to be able to be moved out of the way when I get into creeks or, or really shallow water. But at the same time, it couldn't be completely portable where I'd have to tinker with it a lot every time to get it set up exactly right. I wanted something that would be adjustable but yet repeatable. I will show you my simple uh, way to uh, mount the transducer. And clearly this is not intended for a bass boat, this, this mounting system. There's much better ways to mount it on a bigger boat. And this right here was my simple solution. It's simply a transom mount trolling motor um, shaft from a broken transom mount trolling motor. I just cut off the trolling motor. I took off the head, pulled the wiring out, and now I have a mount that's stable, sturdy, and yet by simply, by simply putting it down, I can go down to the exact spot I need. And on the, and on the back side here, I have two little uh, lines to line up the left and right here uh, with a little paint marker that I put right there so I can set it where I need to, tighten that down. And now, as you see, it's mounted exactly where it needs to be. In the down position here, it's just below the level of the boat and the angle is set right where when I'm in the water and I'm standing on the front deck or sitting on the, the cooler on the front and the boat is tilted a little bit, that it's the right uh, horizontal angle with the bottom. It's below the water line. It's behind both the rear of the motor and the rear here of the shallow water anchor. And yet, if I need to, I can pull it up very easily and set it back down in the exact same spot. The transducer is mounted to this shaft with a simple screw that runs through it like I was going to mount it on the transom. 
and then I put a radiator or hose clamp around it and then wrapped it with this uh, waterproof rubber tape. I simply ran the uh, transducer cable like I would if it was a trolling motor all the way up and then left the slack in here and the slack under here for moving it. Need that slack in here to move it up and down. And then as you can see right here, there's a pink line here and a pink line there from my paint mark, which I simply line up and then tighten it down to keep it from moving left and right. And the transducer is in place. As far as wiring goes, we have the transducer cable run around here, across the back. It's protected by these little eye bolts here. I ran it down this side and in this groove here along the side of the boat. Once again, you can see it down here under that seat and then under the deck it comes up right here it comes up right here and it's protected once again with a little grommet and then I wrap some rubber tape around it also so the transducer cable comes up the left side of the boat as uh, I'm standing now the power is run from from the battery and I have a disconnect here I have, a, I have a fuse here, I have a disconnect here, and then it runs, once again, along this side, underneath, underneath the front seat, underneath the front seat, and the deck, underneath here, and then once again, comes up there. And that is my simple setup for mounting my electronics on this John boat. Once again, the wiring was pretty standard, pretty straightforward, I have not had any interference problems with the current setup. The transducer was the tricky part because I needed something, like I said, that I could pull out of the way and then also put it back in the water in a very efficient and quick manner, which that mount from an old transom trolling motor worked perfectly for. This also should be a very budget-friendly um, mount because uh, I had one laying around because I've gone through a couple of trolling motors over the years. Uh, but even if you're just getting into it and you just bought your first trolling motor for your first uh, John boat that you have electronics on, if you go to a, mar a marine shop and tell them, hey, I'm just looking for a broken transom mount trolling motor, I just want the mount. Uh, if they're a reputable company and they do quite a bit of business, they have so many of these laying around that they'd probably just give it to you. If not, talk to your buddies who do quite a bit of fishing and they probably have come across one or run into one um, here and there because uh, everybody I know that fishes that's had a transom mount trolling motor uh, has two or three of broke ones laying around um, or ones that they upgraded boats and then they have a, a small you know, 30 uh, foot pound one and they have a bigger boat so they got a bigger one and it's just laying around they're not going to use it for anything it's now 20 years old and and so uh, you should be able to just uh, do a little networking or go to a marine um, repair shop and, and find you a broken transom mount trolling motor and put it on the back and that way you can fine-tune your transducer placement and you won't have any you won't have to worry about damaging it when you get into those really shallow areas it's worked out great for me I wasn't going to show this to you until I was sure it worked and it has worked uh, phenomenally and so I thought I would just show this to you because it's something that you certainly can do on your own. Uh, until next time, I'm Daniel, the Low Budget Outdoorsman. God bless.